Oh my god! Do you guys not see what we are playing here? Well, you can't because the game's paused, but I'm sure you could tell by the dragon! We are playing Spyro. This was the game of all games. This was the game of all games. The reason I say that is because I was trying to turn my volume down and I to repeat it myself. Look at Look how beautiful he is! Look at this! And I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, the kids of this generation don't understand what the graphics were like back then. Okay, look at when I when we saw what look I want everybody to just pay attention to this version. I, I, I'm gonna try I, I'm going to attempt to show you what we're looking at here. So look at the old version. Look at the new version. Old version. New version. Old version. New version. It's such a difference. I need you guys to understand that. Not many of us gamers had it easy. We thought there were so many things coming back at us. There were so many different consoles. There was the Sega Saturn. Then there was the Sega Genesis. Then there was the Atari. Then there was the SNES. And then there was the Super Nintendo. Then there was Nintendo 64. Then came on to Dreamcast. Oh my gosh, I, I mixed it up, but you guys understand the point. That's ridiculous. I've never seen a game where it does that. Where actually, he's blowing fire. And you can see the shadow effects from behind him. That's ridiculous. That's a beautiful. It's amazing. I can't believe I'm playing this game again. Fun fact, this was the first video game I have ever touched in my life. Like, this was the first video game I've ever touched. And let me tell you, watch the animation for this. It's really good. Just, just watch. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity. And it really sticks. It's like, it's so much better than the old version. Like, look at the old version. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Now, this whole section gives you, like, oh, how am I going to get up there? Maybe if I jump, maybe if I do this. It actually gives it to you. So you'll be doing certain things in the game that kind of benefit you already. So if you're trying to get up on a ledge, or if you're trying to figure out your way on a certain spot you actually have to go further into the level in order to get to go back which is actually something I really love because it doesn't like just it doesn't give it to you it's like you have to work for it these, those are one of, these are one of the games where you, I know I missed it those are one of the games where you actually have to work for it so it just made it more beneficial to play and that's why I love the game so much Yeah, you'll hear that sometimes. This was, here, uh, it was the first game I beat. The very first video game I beat. I just collected everything and I didn't, like, some people are like, you don't have to do everything, but you do. You do have to collect everything. That's the point of the game. You have to do a certain thing and, and collect a certain game. These these old games were did not hold back. They were not gracious. They were not kind to you. It's like, you do this or you don't complete the game. Like, that's, that's how it worked. And people didn't understand that. What the? Uh. <laughs> I don't think he was supposed to go that high. I don't think he was supposed to. Jeez, you guys saw how high he went? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What are you trying to do to me, sir? Trying to tickle me with your branches? I don't think so. Get out of here. Look at these little frogs. They look like the ones from World of Warcraft. I forgot what the name of them, but they go, they go like, Murlocs, there we go, I remember the names, Murlocs. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, oh boy, oh boy, oh my gosh, alright, now it's, now, now, now I understand the other side of the feeling, I just gotta turn around, okay, there goes my chance to not lose a color, there we go, <laughs> I didn't want to get hit, but that just happened, alright, let's, uh, let's keep venturing on. Thanks for releasing me. Thanks for releasing me. Piece of crap just knocked me into the water! Ooh, confronting Metalhead. I wonder... I wonder what's gonna happen now. Here we go. I look, uh, we might be fighting... It's kind of like a boss, but it's really not. These guys are easy peasy, so I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. Just gotta keep breaking these things. And then we should be ready to fight. Hank! Get back here. Dude! <coughs> 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 <coughs>
I have no sparks left, so I gotta be very careful on how I approach this game. I gotta be extremely careful. Is he gone? That was easy peasy. Wasn't even a boss, if you ask me. And guys, that is it. That's all I'm gonna show you. I collected all the 50 dragons, and now I'm heading off to a new kingdom. So guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. If you guys like Spyro, get it, get it. Get nostalgic. Come on, it's only 40 bucks. It's really, really good. And, um, it's something to think about. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, I am Cosmeto, and that just happened. Bye, guys.